Are you ready? No. Okay. One more I'll thing. I'll ask this to Colt. Producer Colt. Colt then gets this question if you're not ready. <laughs> Producer Colt followed me on Instagram. I felt special. So I appreciate that, Colt. I followed back. <clears throat> nice. That's big. All right. Did, did he Thank follow you? you? Did he follow you? Or no? I did. He did. No, oh, no, you did. followed me, I think. I did. But I don't think I followed. I, hold on. Let me. I didn't. You didn't follow didn't back? Follow me, Kevin. <sighs> I'll follow you. You right never now, followed Kevin. me, Colt? Oh, no, wow, that hurts. I, had, I looked at your I don't account. Follow it, was Kevin just, on it was just your family. I was like, I, I don't I don't need to follow just Kevin's family. <laughs> wow. Wow. Yeah, I stopped, I stopped posting. <laughs> I posted a little bit when I went to Doha. I was, I was getting into it. Maybe it's because I was like around Travis and I just I got that social media vibe going. Colt's account's weird. He's got some like different name thing on there. So I was confused, I think, when, uh, when I was searching. What are you talking about? Maybe it's, it's, on it's Twitter or something. <laughs> is it I, mean, yeah. you had, I don't know something confused me about it it's like okay. gordon with the hashtags i didn't and the clapping emojis i didn't quite understand it yeah Internet's gordon here's hard. your question Internet's hard. Hey, gordon here's your question will brazier actually do the four eight double in this meet uh, what's the schedule how's the schedule work out the schedule is uh, on day one so on saturday you have the 400 meter prelims at 224 local time and then the, you have the 800 meter prelims at 3:04 p.m. So 40 minutes apart. He will not run the 800 meter prelims. He will just do the 400. I think he's just in the 800 if he like trips and falls in the four. That's what I think. That's my feeling too. Because you read the quotes from his coach, and it's just all indications are this is all about running the quarter. And not about the 800. The 800 is just the backup plan. I would love to see him in the 800. I'm definitely more interested in seeing him in the 800 than in the 400 because you have a pretty good 800 meter field. You have Bryce Hopple there. You have Isaiah Harris there. You could have a really fun race. Craig Engels as well. But it looks like the priority for him is the quarter and making that indoor 4x4 four four team. The 400 team is definitely makeable based on who's actually running in the meet. No surprise, 400 indoors does not have a lot of the top tier. Not a lot of the Olympians from 2021 are racing in, in this meet. Um, do, you, do you think he can make this four? Can he get top two individually in this quarter? And... If he can't, do you think he can stay in the top six so he's in the in the relay consideration? Yeah, I mean, I think he can win it. I mean, the 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 US field is very weak because all the good first of all, none of the good USA athletes compete at World Indoors or US indoors. And the best US athletes at indoors are in college. Randall Frost isn't gonna be there. Elijah Godwin's not gonna be there. Like, yeah. like Heaver, the Iowa freshman, is not going to be there. Um, mm -hmm. You can go on and on that there's just a lot of talent that won't be there. It's going to be an easy way for him to find a way to slide in and put together a good race. And I think he'll, I think he'll finish top two. I don't even okay. think top six is a question. I think the question is, can he win? I think he'll at least get second or third. Mm hmm because if he doesn't win, say he gets fifth or sixth, so he's good enough to get in the relay pool, which I'm with you. I think he could finish top two straight up in this race. It's interesting because you look at the incentive structure for competing at U.S. indoors and competing at world indoors, and you could have the situation. I know he really wants to get on the 4x4. Four four. He could travel all the way to Serbia for world indoors, not to run the 800, not to win a global gold, but to be a member of a relay pool where he could run one round in a four by four. And I don't, I don't knock him for that. It's a new thing. It's probably fun to do. Relays are great. Relays are awesome, but it's just kind of a strange setup in terms of track and field. Cause you'd think the opposite would be much more of a draw. I can go to world indoors, win my event, the 800, get a gold medal, stand on the podium and get back to where I was in 2019. But instead, the more motivating thing is I can just be part of a relay and I may not even run in the well, final. It's wild to think Here's about. the thing, though. 
maybe this is a longer play though and let's say he goes here and he wins us indoors he's not gonna need to run 43 seconds or 44 seconds or beat a 43 44 guy to win us indoors right because you can look at the field he could have a us yeah. 400 meter title that's kind of like a, a fake title right but doesn't matter it still says 400 meter champion in 2022 then he can be on a relay he could be the anchor of a four by four that goes on to win a medal wins gold mm -hmm. he could have a fast anchor split right yeah. so he's going to go yeah. into the outdoor season with a lot of this 400 meter pedigree then he goes yeah. out there and he runs good 800s he's running well in the 800 right he's dominating the 800 and then he's going to be like they're at worlds He's already at Worlds because he's qualified. And he's going to say, hey, you see a thing, Mo? You're letting her run the 4x4. You see what I did? I'm a good 400 yeah, guy. You got to let me run the 400, and then I'm on the 4x4. And they'll be like, why? Well, last time I was on the 4x4, you guys won gold. <laughs> last time I <laughs> ran the 400, I won, a, I won a title. And Hold I think on. that's what he's going to do. Because he, <laughs> and, or, is he going to force USATF to say, indoors isn't real is he going to force usatf to be like yeah that championship we held doesn't count that would be you weird think they can't gonna... admit that their own product is inferior they can't do yes that. So, so they're like that's... all right you have to be on the four by four no that's not how it's going to work at all if it is the coaches are being taken for a ride a thing mo won the ncaa 400 title outdoors and had an incredibly fast time if Brazier wants to be on the 4 by 4 he needs to run one outdoors too. <clears throat> because whatever time he puts out indoors is not going to be as impressive as what gets done outdoors. So that might be what they're thinking, but I think you need to give uh, the coaches and the people who are going to select it a little bit more credit in terms of how they're going to come up with this, this team. And he needs to do something outdoors. I'll say this. There's a couple wild cards in this men's 400 field that could make it difficult for him 400 meter guys no williams who's run 44 7 now he ran once this year and it didn't go well for him in a 47 but he can go fast devin dixon who we've seen now he's with the brooks beast 800 another 800 guy who split a 43 before we don't know what type of shape he's in and trevor stewart who hasn't run at all this year but had, you know ran great in the ncaa ran great at usa's as well too those three guys um, could make it difficult for for Brazier if they're in shape. Because remember, he ran. Let's pull up his his Milrose. Uh, I'd like to add. There's one other person too in Heat Sorry. One. Trevor Trevor Bassett. He's legit. Yeah. Four hundred meter hurdle guy. Mashland. But yeah. But when Brazier ran that four hundred at Milrose, you know there was some tactical decisions he made that he didn't like. He tried to like pass on the backstretch and he ended up losing to to Christopher Taylor. The time wasn't that fast, but some of the guys that are running are Christopher Taylor caliber and can can put out a performance similar to what Taylor did. So there's a scenario here where he does, you know, make it into the final um, but isn't able to to get the win. There's also a scenario where he can win. It just it depends on what these guys, um, what sort of form these guys are in. So, yeah, 46-55. And he's behind Norwood in that one too, correct? Am I remembering that right? Taylor won and then Norwood was second. And if you say, all right, well, he's going to correct for, he's going to correct for um, the tactical mistake he made. Well, yeah, but there's a little bit deeper of a feel to go against. So, I don't know. I just don't think this is going to work in terms of getting him into a 4 by 4 outdoors. The easiest path to that is run a 400-meter race outdoors and run it fast. <clears throat> okay, but what if he goes out there and runs a 139-800 in May? Are they going to be like, yeah, we Great. still don't want you? Yeah, yeah. You're, you're doing this thing that you did last year where you just conflate Mo and Brazier regardless of what they do just because they both ran at Texas A&M and they won titles as freshmen and then – went pro a thing mo the mark and then won global outdoor titles right exactly I mean, exactly Conor brazier did win in 2019 Let's not forget no that. no you're right you're right about that but a thing mo like what she did was was special 
like it'd be the equivalent to Brazier running a a 43 second high open quarter in the outdoor season. If that's the case, yeah, it's over. Shut the book. Put him on the team. Figure out the other three guys that are running. But that's that's not the same as him running a 400 an open quarter or running on a relay leg for the four by four indoors where he's going to run you know 45 seconds it's just not the same thing totally different levels i mean brazier has had some good splits for the record i agree That's what the- but it's what is it but like he's got a thing mo a thing mo could get ahead of like got ahead of a lot of people brazier's got to get ahead of a long list of people. And the guys that we mentioned who are running in this race are are contenders, right? But it's not Randolph Ross. It's not Michael Cherry. It's not Michael Norman. It's not Ry Benjamin. It's not Elijah Godwin. There's a long, long list of people that he needs to get in front of. Trying to make a U.S. 4x4 team is no joke. I think Mo made it look straightforward, but that's the rule. Or that's the exception, not the rule. <clears throat> All right.